Rachel, I'm the youngest sister of Lizzie. I have written, we've written something about everybody, but those ones who are here this afternoon is myself, Kirago, and, and, and Sylvia, my older sister. So I'm going to start with my own uh, thoughts about my sister, then go to um, Sylvia and then the, the brothers. Uh, my sister Lizzie told me she was the one who used to take care of me when I was born and she was put in charge of my life when I was a baby. She used to love telling me how when there was no, mom was too busy to cook and they, I had to eat baby formula that time it was called uh, Farex, there was no cereal at that time, and grape juice. She loved that part of, uh, of feeding me. As soon as I finished primary school, Lizzie and I, Lizzie had just finished, gotten married. She insisted that she was going to be taking care of me my brother Kirago and I moved with, uh, to live with her and her adopted children, Anne, uh, David, and Peter. And I was there, and th that was then when Tony, Stella, and Kiki were born. So we all grew up as one family. She cared for me as a mother and a sister combined. She consistently visited me almost every weekend in college, mostly to bet my friendships. And when I was about to get married, um, of which she had approved. Her and her husband, um, Joseph Borrow, were the first people um, my, husband, my husband to be talked to, and they are the ones who organized how we would go to Moranga to tell my parents. We continued relating very closely as adults, and my sisters always watched over me very closely. When I got married and had children, she treated my children just like her own. I went to teach at Temple College, and later when she lived was born, uh, she invited me to be to be everything, human resource, personal assistant, customer care, everything, and teach. And that's how I got incorporated as a director of the college. Lizzie was the kindest, most generous, and forgiving person I have ever known. She never kept a record of wrongs within one, and she loved her family members with all her heart. She loved spending time with her siblings, and would drive many weekends to Kegaju, especially to see her one of her bra our brothers, Jones, and the rest of us would fit in her station wagon Pridgeot and all travel there over the weekend and spend a few days and then we would drive back. She was, also very, she was also very concerned about her nephews and nieces and had a special relationship with each one of them and made sure they had secured a job, whatever she, they could get, which she participated in. This is generosity and care for her family ex ex expanded to her philanthropic Philanthropic work, assisting everyone everywhere, anywhere she went. Even as her business grew and she became a public figure, she cared about everyone and didn't discriminate who you were, you were, even if she found you on the roadside. She even used to take such people at home before even she came to know who they were. When she was extremely busy in her public life, the first people she would invite to her events and were her siblings and family. When she fell sick, I as Rachel spent um, even more time checking in on her two to three times a week. We would sit outside with my other sister Sylvia here, who was her um, main caregiver, joking about everything and never dwelling on her, on her weakening health. She never even thought about it and that it would end up tragically the way it did. But it became apparent she was leaving. We just sat uh, beside her, that was on Sunday, reminding her over and over, I told her, reminded her to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Just making sure she remembered that, not to fear. I'm now going to read the part about Sylvia. Now Sylvia is talking. My sister Lizzie and I used to fight over clothing, chores, and everything. Even when she was young, Lizzie was a very social person, and a little mischievous, and always on the move. Sometimes that meant she, would, she did not complete her responsibilities at home, so I was the one to, to cover for her. Our mother would still discover what I was doing, and I got punished for both of us. Those were the days of Boiko. When we grew up and got married, we, um, we brought up our children together, and every other weekend her children were at my house 
uh, or has where we enjoy taking the mountain group together, Kina Martin, Carol, Victor, all those who are here seated here today, with Akina Tonstera and Kiki. As one of her caregivers, I spent almost every day with her in the last six months of her life. Whenever she was in the country, apart from when she traveled for, for medical checkups, we never allowed her to dwell on her illnesses. In illness. Instead, reminiscing about the good old days and dreaming about the future when she would get better. She did get better, though not in the way we had hoped, but we are glad we were, glad we were there holding her hand and loving on her as she breathed her last. In conclusion, as girls, we were very close to each other, the three of us, but even if we didn't let our brothers come, and even if we let our brothers come here and speak, they would tell the same stories of Lizzie's generosity and caring heart to them and their families, she had a special relationship with each one of them and was always concerned about their deeds and well growing. Growing up, she was very close with my brother Jones, who used to do most of her gardening, garden weeding duty. Being a very hard worker, he would finish his part and then go and find her just chasing uh, butterflies around, look, scavenging around for, for um, you know, retro fruits which grew up, which were everywhere those days, and then just finish her part. My brother David Masharia, who we named, was nicknamed Mugambi, they follow each other because of he, um, he was a trumpetish kind of person. So we named him Mugambi and he stuck. He was the family bully and he was as loud as a trumpet um, and was her rival those days. They followed each other, that, so he used to pick on her just because she was slightly older. He never really won a fight against her, but when they, grew, they were all grown up, they became very good friends. And up to the time that she was getting very weak, she never stopped asking for him and fight out if there is any way she could assist him. And that was when she was really uh, weak. My brother, Mikey, was her favorite and everybody's favorite, and they got along fine. They visited each other all the time, and even when she felt sick, not a day went by without us, her, her calling him or asking about his well-being. He was also my protection from my brother, Ogambi, the Buddha, who used to pick on me to annoy, just to annoy my sister Lizzie. That, that was the purpose. He loved and cared so much for, uh, for my, my brother, Kirago, and thought um, he was so innocent and all that. As a kid, he spent his time hiding behind open doors with his little liner's blanket and his thumb in his mouth looking very innocent. Until there were just the two of us in the house and it became a little tyrant. My brother John, who is the eldest, was really at home as he had taken to helping do small businesses so that uh, he could assist in the household uh, needs of the family members. He was hardly in the house, he was, hardly, he was always working and he was the one who oversaw everybody of us. Whenever we needed something, we'd look for him and he was always there. While we, are, while we are happy, our sister is free from pain and sickness. Her absence is really is felt and we look forward to the day we will be together. I've been telling my friends when they come to comfort me how I'm missing her. But a very dear friend of mine just reminded me the other day when Jesus was leaving, uh, the time he was taken to heaven, uh, he, the, the, they were expecting to do something like stay or take over the, the, the leadership away from the Romans who are governing uh, you know, Israel that time. But Jesus told them, you continue with the work of preaching the gospel. And he went to heaven to receive his reward, which his father was happy to have him sit at his right hand to take over the nations as he's going to do when he comes to us during the, the 1,000 years. And so I've been taking note of that lately and praying that the best thing we can do for my sister is to continue the work she started, just like Jesus told the disciples and everybody else to go preach the gospel and do a good job of it. Thank you so much for coming, all of you. God bless you so much. <laughs>